to Qigong with Bob and Fran. The focus for our video today will be a go with the flow routine for more vitality and less anxiety. And who doesn't want that? So let's get started with some warm-ups and then we'll do our set. So the first warm-up we want to do today will be some padding. So with soft fists, we're going to start padding on the lower back and we go up as high as we can. So it's up and down the spine, tonifying the spine, helping to make it long and strong and flexible. So after we do a little bit of tapping like this, we start with open hands down the sides and we pat down the sides of the legs as far down as you can without going through your comfort zone and then we pat up the inside of the legs. A few extra taps in the, joint, in the groin and then we're going to come down the front of the legs, around the back and up on the kidney area. We're going to just tap a couple of extra taps on the kidneys. Good. So let's extend the left hand and we're going to pat down from the shoulder blade of the left hand. So with the right hand we reach across, start patting on top of the shoulder now and down the inside of the arms, slapping and slapping into the palms, turn the hand over the back of the wrist and up the arm. And then we're going to pat uh, with your head tip to the right and tap on the top of the shoulder at the base of the neck. This is really good for getting some tension and stress out of the upper back and neck area. Very good. Let's try that same thing with the right hand extended. So with the left hand we reach across, we try to get as far back as we can onto the shoulder blade and the shoulder joint. And just go at your own comfort level, just reach to the areas you can get, tapping down the inside, turning the hand over, then patting on the wrist coming up. So we're going to get up to the top of the shoulder, tip our head to the left side, slapping. Oh, that feels pretty good to me. Good job. Let's just tap a couple times with, oh, with fingertips on the chest and get the whole chest area. Tapping, tapping. So you can do some fingertips or we can do some, some soft fists as well. So this clears the lungs, it enables you to breathe a little easier, feels very good. Good job. So from that slapping and patting, let's do some swinging. So we're going to turn our waist from side to side, and as we, as the back of the hand passes the spine, I'd like you to tap on the back of the spine, the lower spine. So this exercise is called knocking on the door of life. So tapping, tapping, and then with the front hand start to tap on the upper chest just below the collarbone. So we're ta tapping in the back, tapping at the front at the same time. And then slowly we release. come to an end. Great job. So we did some padding, we did some swinging, now we're going to do just a few easy stretches. So let's start with the fingers intertwined here uh, just below the, uh, the uh, belly area. With an inhalation we rise the hands up to about the heart, turn the palms down then up, and then sort of wiggle up elongating the spine without locking your elbow. So we're going to be pushing up from the shoulders and you can feel the spine now long and strong. So let's tilt to the right and you can feel the rib cage on the opposite side opening and extending. And then back to center and we'll tilt to the opposite side. And we hold the pose just for a few seconds and each way. Next, we're going to arch back, keep the chin down. You can feel that in the lower back, that feels very good. Then forward, and we're going to drop the arms to about the heart level. Here, we 
open the upper back, we hollow the chest, and we come back up and release down. And let's inter interlace our fingers here in the back. And so with the knees bent, I'm going to bend forward, follow along, and raise the arms as high as you can, staying again within your comfort zone. So this is really nice for the lower back. It also works the shoulder joint. And then we rise slowly. And next, let's raise the right hand palm forward, and the left hand is palm back. And we're going to push both hands back, opening the chest. And at the same time, we're going to look over the left shoulder. So we look over the shoulder that's down. Now release, head forward, and then flip the hands. Left hand up, right hand down, and back. Push back, and look over the right shoulder this time. Very good. Now let's extend the arms out to the sides. Bring the arms back, opening the chest and slowly come forward and sink across one arm over the other, but don't touch your body. Just have, imagine your fingertips being pulled by strings out to the sides. You feel that opening your back. It's a beautiful little exercise. Let's repeat that. This time, put the other arm on top. Fold. Oh, yeah, that feels great. And back down. So let's uh, do a little shoulder exercise with the hands on the back, uh, resting sort of on your uh, hip bone there, palms open, or you could have the back of your hands uh, on, on the back. I like to do it palms in. And then we trace down the back of the legs, around the ankles, or as far down as you can go, then up, the inside of the legs, raising the shoulders, rolling the shoulders back, the chest pops out, and the hands come to the back again. So it's exhale down, tracing the back, around the ankles, then breathe in, lift the shoulders, hold the breath, chest comes out, hands come to the back, and then we exhale down one last time. So this is a very nice exercise to work the shoulders, rotator cuffs to roll the shoulders back, hands come to the back, and this time you stand straight but you slide the hands down and release the shoulders. Good job. So let's do a quick back exercise. Maybe my favorite of all the back exercise, uh, exercises that I know, uh, called the three-way back exercise. So with Soft fists, let's bring the hands up to uh, just over the shoulders, then curl the hands inward so the pinkies are touching, side, the sides of the hands are touching, and down to the elbows, they should be touching. If you can, just do your best with this. And then you should be bent forward just slightly. You can feel that in the, in the upper back, opening the upper backs. So let's repeat that. So we're gonna, Take the hands out, stretch back. Then we curl forward and in, and bend forward just a bit, elbows to about the chest. You can feel that, as I said, in the lower, in the uh, upper back. And then we open. This time we're gonna curl in, and at the same time, bend forward more so the elbows come down into the belly. And then up with an in-breath, open, this time we're going to come even farther down. This is for the lower back. And then up. And open. This time turn to the right. Close. Turn. Good. And close. And then we just open a little, lift the hands up, and close out this exercise, clearing and relaxing.
three-way back exercise with the upper back, the mid-back, and then the lower back. And you can repeat this many times uh, in terms of repetitions that you're comfortable with. It's a great back exercise. So I think it's time to move on to our go with the flow routine. And uh, we start by sinking and forming a ball, an energy ball, in front of our chest with the fingertips up. So let's open the ball with an inhalation as the hands spread out to about shoulder width and then sink back to the small ball. So it's open and close, coordinating the breath with the movement. So it's in breath, a little wider maybe this time, hold the breath, and then exhale in, closing the ball, but not touching. So open, maybe a little wider yet. Palms facing the whole way. And one more time, open wide and closed. Good, so we're going to do this very slow. Remember our goal here is to cultivate the energy. We're going to turn right here, keeping the ball, and come down the right side with an exhalation. Turning the ball, and now we're facing to the right, and slowly the ball comes up as we take an inhalation. Overhead, and let's repeat that. Sink, Turn and rise. And back to center. Let's, let's uh, do this to the other side now a couple times. So we sink, palms stay facing. That energy ball now you're lifting it up and back to center. And then we're going to repeat one more time down the left side. Keep the ball exhaling down, holding the breath, and then Inhaling up, back to a forward position. Sink, and then lift the ball up and separate and come back down. Let's lift the ball again and this time come out to a little bigger ball. Keep the palms facing and keep coordinating the breath with the movement here is an in-breath. We hold the breath here and then we exhale the hands closer. Up, one large ball here we opened and opened wider and wider. Good. Now let's come back the other way and uh, And this time we'll make the ball a little smaller. In breath. And down. Uh, inhale, smaller ball. And back down, exhaling. And finally, we're back to the small ball. So let's open the ball and close the ball. One more time, open and close. Good. Now let's just pulse the ball, see if we can feel an attraction between the hands, the palms and the fingers. And we can sort of rotate, roll the ball here and pulse a little bit. Good. Let's bring the ball back in, holding the ball Let's shift onto our left leg and extend our right leg forward. And then adjust your stance so that your nose, knee, and toes are pretty much in alignment. The weight is on the back leg, and this is where we start our go with the flow. So now we're going to push the ball forward onto the forward leg, open the ball, and then shift back and close the ball. Forward, open, and close. Inhale, and 
exhale. This time, from uh, being on the back leg, we're going to open the ball, shift forward, and as if you were gathering this energy that's all around us into the belly area to store this energy. Let's repeat that. Circle out, shift forward, and bring the energy into the Dantian. One more time. Shift, gather. Very good. With the palms up, let's shift forward. We circle out and back in. Repeat. Shift forward, nice and slow, inviting the energy from the heavens to come into our hands. Shift forward and back. So some of us can start to feel fullness or tingling or buzzing in the hands. Let's see if we can do the same, inviting the chi from the earth. So with palms down, we're shifting forward, separating, and gliding back. Hands come toward each other. Shift, open, and come back. One more time. Shift open and back. This time, put the hands, open the hands up as if we're, and as you scoop forward, as if we're moving our hands into the earth, picking up some energy from the earth. Then we shift back, collecting energy from the heavens down into our belly area, the Dantian, to store the energy. Let's repeat that. Shift forward, lift the energy out of the earth, grab the energy out of the heavens into the Dantian. One more time. Lift up, pull down, cultivating this energy. Good job. Let's repeat the same uh, routine to the left side. Let's adjust our stance. The hands are together in, in the ball, the small ball, and the first time we shift forward and then we open the ball and shift back. Repeat, forward, going with the flow here, cultivating energy for more vitality and less anxiety. And back, and one more. Open. Good. This time we're going to open here, shift forward, gathering that energy in the universe and bringing it in, storing it for our use to be energized throughout the day. Gather and store. One more time. Gather that energy, bring it in. Good job. This time we turn the hands up as if we uh, were collecting energy now from the heavens above. Soft hands, shift forward, very easy. We open the circle, palms remain up, and back to where we started. Shift forward, open, and come back. Good, shift forward, open, and come back. Excellent. Now let's try to gather some energy from the earth, palms face down, as we shift forward. Circle out, back to where we were. Shift forward, soft hands, collecting the energy from Mother Earth. And one last time, shift, open, and return. So finally, we set our hands down in an open position, palms up. As we scoop energy, as we shift forward, we scoop energy up from the earth, lift it overhead, gathering energy from the heavens as we shift back, and the hands come down toward the belly. Repeating, shift forward, open, and in. So gathering energy from the earth, and from the heavens. 
Excellent. And shift forward. And so we close this set. We hope to see you again soon. Namaste. Namaste.